Jose, and I'm the developer of Beacus. Hi, I'm going to make a short presentation about uh, Beacus, the BIM uh, cross-section analysis software developed at BIM, the DTU Wind Energy Department. This is work developed by me and some co-workers. So, essentially, Beacus is used on, for the structural design of wind turbine blades, and uh, I'll try to uh, briefly describe the workflow we have developed using Beacus. So here on the left, you could imagine that you have a model of the blade. This could be drawings or a shell element model. And you're interested ultimately in representing this blade inside an air elastic model. So what we propose is that you choose a section of your blade of interest. This is the cross section, which you mesh. And based on this mesh, you can generate the cross section stiffness properties and then generate a beam finite element model that represents the original section of interest. You do this along the whole blade and then you just fit it there as being finite element models representing the blade in the air elastic model. So this is the first use of because it's, as you can see, as a pre-processing step before entering the air elastic analysis tool. And you can also use it again now as a stress recovery second analysis, where based on the loads that you calculate from the air elastic analysis, you can go back to the first session finite element mesh and determine the stresses or some recent work we've done includes also uh, crack and fracture analysis. So, in essence, the specifications and capabilities, we have a finite element-based tool for analysis of cross-section properties. Uh, the idea when we develop this is really to improve the accuracy of this uh, beam model, especially on the blades where you have complicated geometries and many types of materials. So in fact, Beacon is able to estimate or to account for the effect of material in isotropy and in homogeneity. And uh, we have validated extensively the results from Beacon to match. We can verify that they match 3D FE models, although, although we use only a fraction of the computation time because of the efficiency of the beam models. This is an open source MATLAB tool. It's free for academic use. So if you are sitting at any university or research institution, please go to Beakers.tu.dk and contact us for commercial users. You can always contact us and we make it available upon a small fee. Also the source code. So to finalize, I'll just go through some of the work we have done using Beakers. We have recently finished designing the DTU 10 megawatt reference wind turbine blade, where we essentially cut out many slices from a shell model, as you can see here, and then we do a very find a representation of the, the blade within the beam finite element model, which is then put into hook to the aerolastic, our aerolastic code. This is an example of the strength analysis on the detail stress analysis in the corner here of the spar and shear, shear web connection. And uh, you have a comparison here between the results from Abacus and Beakers, and you can see there's a very good match. Um, we have recently also com concluded implementing some failure criteria specific for laminated composite structures, maximum stress, maximum strain and size. We have uh, in the past, and now this is some ongoing work also using this for topology optimization of wind turbine blades, where we are interested in defining a domain which is the cross section and distributing the material herein. The interesting thing is really to explore the fact that the beam model is so much more efficient to include air elastic constraints, which using 3D models is not possible. Finally, the, the last work we have done is on fracture analysis. So we use a, a virtual closure, crack closure technique um, to calculate strain energy release rates on cracks in the cross section. And once again, we see a very good match with 3D results for all three crack modes. Hi, I'm Robert, and I'm a member of the BKS team. I'm going to show you some of the pre processing capabilities that come with BKS. We will be using a Python script called shellexpander.python, which uh, can read information from a finite element shell model describing, for example, a wind turbine blade, and uh, based on the information found there, produce a series of Beakers input files. In our case, we will be reading information from a file called restblade.input, which is an Abacus shell model. Let us have a look at this model first. So 
So here is the model of our wind turbine blade. Um, it uh, contains a number of element sets that corresponds to sections that beakers should analyze. If we look at these sets, we can see that they run through the blade. Now, if we look at one of the sets only, we can see something like that. And uh, each of the elements in such a model contains information about ply thickness, material, material orientation, and geometry, all that we need to produce our beakers input files. So let us run Shell Expander. We do that by calling the Shell Expander script here in the command line. We type Python Shell Expander.python, and as a parameter, we give it an options file which stores information like where to read information from, where to write it to, how many elements to use, and so on. The script is now running. It will be generating beakers input files to analyze nine cross sections. In reality, you would, of course, use more, maybe something like 50 cross sections to analyze a wind turbine blade. The script is finished and a new directory has been created, which is called beakers input. In this directory, we see nine subdirectories corresponding to the nine cross sections, and in each of them, we find the beakers input files. Now, running beakers itself is done by running a MATLAB script, which calls functions which are defined by uh, the beakers toolbox. For example, here is a function uh, computing the cross-section stiffness matrix, or here you can see the function that then uh, computes the cross-section stiffness properties based on that. We hit F5, the script runs through the nine directories and computes the nine beakers models. This takes a few seconds. Now we're done, and in our beakers directory, we now find some new files. For example, a file containing the cross-section stiffness matrix. This is what you see here, or also a plot showing the mesh that was generated by Shell Expander, and also the centers computed by beakers, and also the uh, orientation of the principal axis. Last but not least, the uh, beakers has also computed cross-section stiffness properties and converted them to hog2 format. Uh, and the result of that is stored in this file beakers 2 hog 2out So this data is ready to be included in hog2 D2 wind energy's aeroelastic code. Of course, this approach is not limited to Abacus model, but uh, with uh, slight modifications, you could use any kind of finite element shell model. For more information, please visit www.bcast.dtu.dk.